Hi, y'all. This is the husband from Texas Roadrunners. And today, we're going to install torque lift. Um, cut. Hi, y'all. This is the husband from Texas Roadrunners. Today, we're going to install torque lift stable loads. These are the lower stable loads. I already have the upper loads installed on the truck. Um, in another video, we'll take a look at those. But in this one here, I ordered the kit. We're going to put it on ourselves, and it's fairly simple. I did one side already, so I could fool you guys into thinking I knew what I was doing. So let's just take a look at all the steps on this. In order to make things a little quicker, I've got my parts laid out here. You're going to get all of this times four. But to simplify, you get four of each one of these wedges. Four. You get a whole bunch of washers. You'll see why in a minute. So on these, these wedges are all different. This middle one has four holes. This one has three holes, and the bottom one, of course, looks totally different. So you just stack these up, they make a nice wedge, and you put this bolt in, and you tighten it to 20 foot-pounds. I happen to have a torque wrench, but if you don't have a torque wrench, don't sweat it. 20 foot-pounds isn't that much. Just, if you tighten them with hand tools, get them good and tight, you'll be right there. Then you have to align this on the spring. So this bolts to the bottom of the spring and my wedge has to turn under the spring. So it goes between, well, on top of the spring. So this wedge goes under the main leaf springs but over the overload spring on the bottom. So it wedges in between those. So it automatically when you put a load on, those lower springs automatically start working instead of having to fill this gap. You'll see better in a second. So what you do is you measure, once you have this assembled, you measure the thickness of the lower spring. Mine's 600,000, just over a half an inch. And then you're going to put your bolt in. And you measure these wa washers have to be thicker than your lower spring because this bolts to the lower spring and then this has to swing over top of the lower spring. So I, I had a set of calipers. I just measured mine using calipers. But you could take a stack of washers over there and just hold them up to the spring until you're just thicker than the spring and you'll be fine. So once you do that, then you just tighten this down. There's no torque specs for any bolts but the first one, which I thought was kind of odd. Of course, most people don't have a torque wrench anyway, so. Okay, so on that one, what you want is you want resistance when you work this back and forth. Because what you'll do when you get your loads installed is you're going to use a 3 8 ratchet with an extension and you're going to engage those loads and you're going to turn them off. So you want there to be resistance so it doesn't move around. And that's where your pin goes in. We don't need the pin yet. So I have this one pretty good. I can turn it by hand but it's very stiff. Real stiff which is great. And that's it. This pack is assembled. Now we have to go to the truck and on the truck we need this bolt with a lock washer and a nut and we need two little bolts which I already have over there on the truck. Now that we've assembled our pack we just need to install it on the truck and that's actually pretty simple. We're just going to take out this spring pad that keeps some springs from squeaking. We'll save that for later in case we ever decide to put this back to stock. We need these two little bolts 
I was telling you about earlier, this little bolt goes in here, face uh, threads down, and then on the other side we're going to put it in face up. And you'll see that in a second here. Now I... The hardest part of this for me, uh, if you have to drill the hole in the spring, that's going to be for you. But So on some vehicles, they don't come with that hole, and they, but they do supply the drill bits in the kit so you can drill the hole. You want to measure the thickness of, of each spring and compare that to the thickness of your washers because the, the spring thickness will change from front to back. At least it, it did on mine. So we're going to install this bolt and we're not going to tighten it down yet. What we want to do is get these two little bolts started first. So as you can see, with one bolt in position, this moves all around. So you take these little bolts and you feed those up through the spring and then that holds this, this from being able to move. And on the other ones, once I got it tightened down, it didn't move at all. We'll see how this side works out. They give a satisfaction guarantee on this, and they also do a lifetime warranty. Um, this is not a paid promotion. We have no paid promotions on our site yet. This is just a product that we purchased that we're going to install and see if we like it or not. Before I tighten that one down, I'm just going to start this one over here. I like to get everything started before I get too crazy on the tightening. I can't get a wrench on the top half of this, but once I snug this to my spring, it, it puts that top half mostly in a bind so that I can tighten it up. Sure. This is tight enough. Not yet. There we go. Okay, so that's it. I mean, it's it's installed. To engage the spring pack, what you'll do is just take a 3 8 ratchet with an extension and just give it a turn. And then you take those pins and you put a pin through there and then it'll hold it in place. So that's off for driving around town. And then that's engaged for a load. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So that's the installation. You'll do that times four, of course, so it'll take you a little bit, especially if you have to drill the hole, but it's a pretty simple installation. If you have basic hand tools, you'll be fine. 
uh, we've had we have to use a uh, 19 millimeter 16 millimeter 18 millimeter a, uh, another 16 a couple of 11s so it's all metric uh, but if you have those few tools you can install this yourself and save yourself a bunch of labor they'll probably charge you two hours labor to put these on if they don't have to drill so you can order them from Amazon and if I'm clever I'll put a link in the description if I'm not clever you'll have to go to Amazon yourself but that's it y'all we'll do another video on how they perform once we get a load on here thanks y'all have a good day